Honey, one thing about me, I'm going to cook for my family, honey. Tonight, we're getting into some smothered chicken. So y'all better let's get it. Woo, y'all. So these are all of the ingredients that you guys will need for this meal. We're going to be making some cornbread muffins as well. And so we have some of that. We got the seasonings and we got our protein of choice. Use whatever protein of choice you would like to use. So first, we're going to start off by um, lining our pan with some veggies. So we got some onion, we got some bell pepper, and we got some um, orange and red peppers. Feel free to use whichever veggies that you like. I really like to use the combination of onions and bell pepper because it gives the chicken a nice flavor and you wanna put it on the bottom of the pan first because it's going to seep into the chicken really well. These are the seasonings that we're gonna use. We're gonna start off with a teaspoon of each. So we got um, chicken seasoning. We got um, a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We got the Weber's Kicking chicken seasoning and we also have which kind is just herby it's not really salty then we got our garlic powder and onion powder you want to give this a nice toss and um look at these flavors look at like the color just man this color is going to come through well when we mix it with the uh soup and so um then you want to go ahead and crowd your pan you don't need to like save space it's literally at the end you'll see that it's okay to crowd your pan um as the chicken cooks down it's going to be great. Now, if you worried about spills, then hey, you might not want to crowd it or you might want to have provisions for that. But this color is just beautiful. I just want to admire the color. That smoked paprika is going to take your chicken to a whole new level. So make sure you use that. But like I said, start off with teaspoons and then you can add in uh, uh, up to a tablespoon if you would like. I'm just trying to control the salt in this dish because the soup does have salt in it. So then as you guys can see plainly, I just put the remainder veggies on top. So now we're going to get into our gravy, you guys. Um, I like to use cream of celery and cream of mushroom. So cream of celery has a lot of salt in it. So I made sure I got some that was low in sodium, y'all. I was so happy when I found that. And then um, I got the cream of mushroom unsalted because that also has a lot of salt in it as well. And so I'm only using a half a can of cream of mushroom um, to one full can of uh, cream of celery. You can do whatever you want to do. And then I used about a third cup of heavy cream, you guys. Okay, and so this is nice and thick. Um, the clumps, it doesn't mean it's not bad. It's bad or I just bad or something. I just didn't shake it up. And so this is still good. It ain't. Uh, bad or nothing like that but anyways you want to whisk this up you guys fully incorporate it and you can get put give it a little dab a little dab and taste it to see exactly how salty it is and so I'm happy that I did this that I chose these because I wanted to keep take into account that I didn't want too much salt I wanted to balance out the salt and that's exactly what I just did and so I was really happy with the way this turned out um, I went ahead and poured all of these contents of this um, uh, soup onto my um, chicken here. And then I just went ahead and began to slather it in, kind of got like mixed it in really well. Like, now I would say slather, yeah. Like I, got, like I layered it kind of like a cake. And then I can't, and then I kind of like tried to get it to like go into the grooves of the chicken. But anyway, it was awesome. So this went into the oven on 375 degrees for an hour you guys and i just seasoned it on top with a little bit of kicking chicken and red pepper flakes um before i put it into the oven but like i said you want to do 375 degrees into the oven for on a full hour you guys and then after that take the aluminum foil off raise the temperature to between 420 and 450 degrees and leave it in the oven for additional 20 minutes and y'all y'all ready to eat now we're going to go ahead and get into this cornbread you guys so you want to use two cups of cornmeal y'all whatever kind of cornmeal you like two cups of flour as well y'all and then you want to add in one third cup of buttermilk two eggs you also want to add in a cup and a half of cane sugar whatever kind of sugar you want or you can add more sugar or less sugar i also added in one third cup of blue agave you can use honey then i use two teaspoons of um bacon powder and then just a dash of cinnamon and nutmeg now i started off by pouring in a cup of um milk you guys and then i just allowed this to whisk I whisked it, mixed it in slowly, and we want to get all of these ingredients nicely incorporated. And so you're just mixing it to get everything fully incorporated, you guys. And I went ahead, and as I was mixing, 
once I was fully, once I felt like it was all fully incorporated, then I went and did the test where I like, you know, looked to see the consistency of it. And when I saw that it was a little too thick, I started adding in more milk, okay? So I started off with a full cup of milk, then I added in maybe a third a cup. But in my mind, I know that I'm eventually gonna add in another full cup. So I added in about two full cups of milk. It's really all about the consistency of your cornbread that you want all about what you really want i also didn't mention that i added in one third cup of butter you can add in more butter and it was unsalted butter as well you can add in more butter or less it's completely up to you but this is going to make you get a really nice cornbread um especially when you use um this raw the raw cornmeal instead of using like something like jiffy so you could put this into an actual pan or you can use muffin containers like i did um, and then you just want to put this in the oven on 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and then do the, um, what is it called? It's called the, uh, toothpick, um, test where you stick it in the middle and if it comes out dry, then your, um, cornbread is completely done. And so that's what I did y'all. Let's get into the video cause we done baby. back to the channel today you guys we have some delicious smothered cajun um, chicken some, and some rice we have some rice. Rice. Out of that. we have some rice and some we have cornbread because mm -hmm. because mom 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 cornbread tastes like bananas but sometimes you do <laughs> sometimes, sometimes my cornbread don't taste like bananas it don't it does to me and Nana's we, cornbread tastes sweeter. We have some greens. More, have some greens. Yep. We have some greens. Okay. And some chicken over mm -hmm. there. And Girl, move these fingers. And we have some wait. That's it. Oh yeah, okay. So you guys, this is what we have. You guys just literally saw the the video of me filming the the preparation for it, you guys, and I'm so excited to taste it because I've never tasted it. Shout out to um I'm going to put the, the name of the title of where my inspiration for this meal came from right here. And I'll put their uh, video in the description box so you can go watch it because that is who gave me this inspiration to do this. Okay. And so um, I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you guys make this for your family. Um, very low maintenance meal um, and, and cost effective. Right. So. This is Waxy with Donisha in the family, and we ain't kind of part. We be watching every day different foods, different ways. If you're new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because this is a Waxy subscribe. Yep. Waxy subscribe. Yep. Waxy 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 subscribe. Come on in, guys. Subscribe. If you never subscribed before, come on in and subscribe, guys. Come on in, y'all. Welcome to the family back again. Yeah. Yeah, I like. Let's pray. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. like All right. This. Mm -hmm. You're, you're cool. Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's pray. Go ahead. Hold on. Let Daddy pray. Let Daddy pray. Go ahead. Most of you, God, come to you today. God, be thanks for the God for everything mm -hmm. that we've done through it in our lives. Thank you, oh God, for the subscribers that watching us day by day. Oh Father God, straighten them. Oh Father God, cover them under the blood. Protect their family, O oh Father God, and loved ones, O oh Father God. Have a way in us, O oh Father God, as a family, as we gather here to eat, O oh Father God, this wonderful, delicious food, O oh God. Let it be used to our body, O oh Father God, and let, O oh Father God, everyone watching us, O oh Father God, will love to taste it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bring everything. Everything is gonna be all right. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Can I was here. Tuesday evening. Chicken. Chicken. Going. Chicken. Yeah. Um. This is the first time my wife making this kind of chicken. That means. If I can't, I'm gonna give you everything. You ain't gotta try it. You gonna give you everything. It look delicious. 
Yep, so I'm excited to try everything. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. There you go, Isabel. Baby, Can it was so quick. I don't have, you know, you know her. How okay. She. Let me see your plate, baby. Mm -hmm. That beanie hot sauce. The okay. rice is still nice and hot. Yeah. And flavory. Mm -hmm. I, like I did good with the rice. It's not mushy or anything. It's, okay, good. it's nice. Yeah. That's what I'm supposed to make, baby. Okay. And, oh, sorry, baby. And then let's give you some chicken. Mm. Put it over the rice. Yeah, with, the, with the soup. Soup. <laughs> Babe, Mommy, you're going to eat these onions. So let's get me. There you go. Come on, it's chicken. Huh? Not yeah. much. Mm hmm Eat it. All right. There you go. All right. And some green beans and mushroom. Mommy, mushroom and... There you go. Beans. Yeah. Yeah. You, go, you don't want one of these cornbreads? Yeah. Mommy, Mommy what are these? Those is the peas, the green beans inside of the, the uh, thing. So watch this squad. Oh, How are you guys babies. doing? I should have got a fork. The, Elijah has fork. Give me a fork. Elijah didn't feel like eating today. Right now, you guys, he's he's not hungry. So I'm just going to take his fork because we was gonna, he was going to. Oh, mm -hmm. so I got to save some vegetables for him. So I'll pull this down. Mm. Save that for Elijah. Nice and still, nice and hot. Put these cornbreads over here. Cornbread, it like it tastes good warmed up too. So you know, if you it's a little like too firm for you, just you just warm it up. Warm it up in the morning, mm. and it will be good that way. <coughs> Careful, babe. <laughs> you all right, mm -mm. baby? It's juice. Okay, so just chill, dude. Slow down. All right. Just get away. Take your time, bro. I'm excited. I'm not to not to okay. I'm excited to try this. Listen, and I got a mess while we eating. I got a message for y'all today, you guys. I have a man. You have a what message? The good. The what is it? Yeah. What is it? Eat your food. I'm gonna tell them. Eat your food, I'm gonna tell him. Sit up, girl, and eat your food. Okay, let's get this a taste. Mm hmm. Mm. Sit down, please. Good job. Chicken tastes good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Didn't want no ordinary chicken. Mmm. Wow. My biggest fear was it being too salty. Mm -hmm. but my biggest fear was it being too salty. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, came on here to let somebody know y'all that God is about to restore you from the bottom to the top and everything your enemy took from you you're going to get it back like it never happened <clears throat> this is the month of restoration and God March 2024 and God is restoring many of his people and so I want you to mm -hmm. receive that message that whatever the enemy tried to do to you to break you down to attack you, to stop you to keep you from prospering, to keep you from moving forward, to keep you from advancing in life everything that the locust, canker worm and the palmer worm has eaten and destroyed like the Bible says in the book of Joel um, everything it's going to be restored to you. Wait a minute. I thought it was just real chicken with no top on it. 
go ahead and eat your chicken. Put it down and 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 and, and it's hot. So put it down and, and break I it. I need napkin because I don't want my hands to get messy. Well, you can put it. You can put it down and break it open. If your hands get messy, that's okay. Can I just pick it up with, with the with the napkin? No. Okay. And so everything that was stolen, God is going to restore it to you. You understand? And so, understand that, mm -hmm. that God is restoring you mm -hmm. and the time that Good. you have lost. And the time that you have lost, God is restoring it. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Put the top back on that water. Okay. So don't worry. Don't worry. Don't fret. Don't focus on the on the small stuff or the negative stuff because guess what? God is handling it. He restoring it. I'm talking about things that you were supposed to receive 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. God is restoring it this month. You understand? This is that year. This is the year of restoration and completion and God's completion for your life. So if I don't know who I'm talking to, but I want you to receive that. Because I received it. <clears throat> I have received it for my life and for my family. I want you to understand that God is about to speed you up mm -hmm. to where you're supposed to be. To where he thought towards you to be. Jeremiah 29 and 11, the Lord says that he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards us. Thoughts of good and not of evil to give us a hope and a future. Everything that God thought towards you before you came out your mother's womb, God about to, bring back? God about to, uh, there's not really much left. Shubin? There's not really much left. What's left is for Elijah. Oh, for yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't make that much. Sorry. It's good. But there's a lot of vegetables inside of here. So you it's can some of that. Here, did you want some more? Here, there's a lot of vegetables in here. Mm, what? Okay. Yeah. So God going to do that. He, he, he going he gonna to speed you up. He going to speed you up quickly. It's gonna happen so fast. Everybody's head around you is gonna is gonna swim. People that threw dirt on your name and talked about you like a dog, they're gonna have to sit back and watch God bless you. That table that God been preparing for you, He's prepared for you in the presence of your enemies. You getting ready to eat off that table? Mm -hmm. That table that God prepared. It's just about time for you to eat off of it. It's just about time for you to eat off that table that God has prepared for you. And when you eat, you're going to eat good. And they're going to have to watch you eat good. And ain't nothing they're going to be able to do. Because uh -uh, I think that's enough for you. <laughs> ain't nothing they're going to be able to do. My husband loves rice Chaz, salt. Man. He huh? loves rice. Especially white rice yeah. salt. <laughs> Just it's, rice. It's white rice. And Daddy loves white rice. And Daddy loves um, brown rice. Not like white rice. <laughs> he really loves white, white rice. White rice. Mm -hmm. I have to get one more piece of chicken. Okay. Gotta eat your protein. Wait a minute. Wait, chicken is protein? Chicken has protein. I and got chicken does have protein, so it's not good for you. No, it does. So this chicken is healthy. The other chicken is not because it has um, no. chemi oh, chemicals in it. I'm not sure, baby. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's about the fried chicken. 
or a big chicken. Big chicken is okay. Mm -hmm. It does have a lot of chem chemicals mm -hmm. in it. You're tasting good. That's all I know. And honey, my baby mm -hmm. eating good tonight. Me? Or the baby? My baby in my stomach. And yeah. you too. Okay. Eating good tonight, honey. Say what? Okay. Isabel, calm down. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. I love the food. Sure do. Sure do. Yep. So, focus on that. Meditate on that. Can I have another napkin? Can you pass that napkin? Focus on that. Y'all. Yeah. Thank you. And meditate on that. Don't be distracted. Don't you worry. Re rejoice. Because God is vindicating you in this hour. He's vindicating you for everything that you suffered. Don't, don't get distracted by the wind. Don't let people think what they want to think about you. You, you stay focused. Don't be distracted by the wind or the noise. Don't be distracted by the wind. Don't be distracted by mm. the storm. Because at the end of the day, mm. God got you. He got everything. And he's more powerful than the wind. And he's more powerful than the storm. And when his presence, he don't even have to open up his mouth and say and speak to it. All he got to do is command his presence in the midst of it and it's going to stop on its own. That's what happened in the book of Matthew chapter 14, I believe, when Peter and the disciples were out on the boat in the sea, middle of the sea, when Jesus came walking on the water. The Bible said that the Bible said that once Peter and Jesus got back in the boat, the wind stopped. Jesus didn't even have to speak to it that time. His, he commanded it with his presence. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And what else happened, Mom? Just like he commanded it. Just like he didn't. Right now. So, so don't think that because the wind, don't think because your enemies is barking that they're doing something. Listen, God may allow your enemies to bark for a period of time but it's very possible that he's letting them bark because he's waiting on you to not doubt and have faith mm -hmm. he's waiting on you to understand that everything the enemy has stolen from you he got to get back the wind had to stop barking when Jesus got back on the boat with the disciples Y'all better hear me about the Spirit of God today. Mm. When I tell you, you about to see a rocket, your life going to change so fast, it's going to be like a rocket ship. It's going to be like a rocket ship taking off at the speed of light. Nobody going to see it coming. It's going to be so fast. They going to look. It's going to stop. They going to look, eat them green beans. They're going to look to see it. They're going to look at you one minute, one moment. And within a blinking of an eye, wow. your whole life is going to change wow. just like that. And they're going to they're gonna start saying, how in the world did that happen? When? They're going to be asking when it happened. Because they got their eyes on you. Honey, they got their eyes on you. 
and they gonna and they they gonna be saying, when did it happen? You hear me? Mm-hmm. So stay focused. Stay focused. Stay prayerful. Stay diligent. God got you. Y'all ready? We're going to walk y'all through a prayer of salvation. Dear God. Dear God. I come to you today. I come to you today. With a humble heart. With a humble heart. Receptive. Receptive. Okay. Uh, Receptive. Receptive. To your will. To your will, God. For my life. For my life. I accept you into my heart. I accept you into my heart. As my personal Lord and Savior. As my personal Lord and Savior. Wash me clean of my sins. Wash me clean of me of my sins. Make me whole again, God. Make me whole again. Write my name. Write my name. In the Lamb's Book of Life. In the Lamb's Book of Life. Mark me. Mark me, Lord. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. I accept you into my heart. I accept you to my heart. I turn away from my sins. I turn away from my sin. And I invite you. I invite you. To be the ruler. To be the ruler. And the leader. And the leader. Of my life. Of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You were supposed to pray. If you pray this prayer, guys, and you believe mm -hmm. that God has delivered you, save you, you are saved. From sin, you are saved. Amen. You're saved by believing Day by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Yeah. And God so bless walk, you. So walk. As of this day forward, let's walk. Right. And if you need any encouragement, inbox me on Instagram at Donisha Daniels. Yeah, I'm going to try to put my Instagram in the inbox. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. What God can do. Now, I'm going to sing a part of this song that's been on my heart. I used to sing all the time on the channel. And it's time to get back to that. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Good Lord. Just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know that he was sent by God. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, Jesus. How I trust you, how I prove you more and more, oh, Jesus, Jesus, my precious Jesus, baby. I thank you for the grace. Hallelujah. I thank you for the good thank to you, trust you, you more. Sing it, baby. You have a song? Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him. Oh, I prove it more. And more, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust it more. 
and man. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take in hands his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know the Savior love. Sit with me, everybody. Get up. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How, how I trust, trust you. him. How, how I prove you more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, Jesus, oh, oh, grace Get down here, to down. trust Get down here, Hold on, get down. Yeah, God, have our grace to trust God more. Ask Him for more grace so you can trust Him more, more and more. Amen. I have a sound. Okay, go okay, ahead. Go ahead. Come on, girl. You didn't tow this up. Go ahead. Jesus is always there for you. Even when I think no one loves you, Jesus is there and he loves you. He's always by your side. Gotta end the video. So don't feel left alone. You're not alone. God is right beside you. Every day, every minute, every hour in your life, he's there with you. And well, he's an awesome know? God. Pick this stuff up first. He's a worthy, he's a mighty God. And he what never fails. Up, you can get that he never out fails in a out. We have a he never comes from the hand. Remember? He's ah. everywhere. We have a, um, he's an um, 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 omnipresence. He's everywhere, guys. God will never leave us. He's a God of the sunshine. God of the moonshine, the God of the day is the God of the night is God all by himself Amen, Amen. Alright you guys, well we love you guys yes. so much So if you guys, if I need one of these cornbread <laughs> let us know, we're going to ship it to you mm -hmm. yeah, We'll man. see you guys on the next video Love the cornbread yeah. We'll Home see you guys made. on the next video Y'all stay safe. Y'all yeah. stay blessed. On another video. And if you come into agreement with this word, put restoration in the comment section. Yeah. Love y'all. Bye.
don't forget to subscribe uh, even though you're watching us video. click that subscribe button and you'll be a member of the wax squad family so i'm saying yeah man you're welcome Turn guys water on, so i'm saying no worries no problem man Wash your peace hands. out love. see you on the next video see